Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI here with Ham Radio Concepts and I wanted to share something with you after a day of work because it interested me, it caught my eye. And I figured, well, this could be something that replaces my current tool as an antenna analyzer. Now at the time of this video, I am not the first one to show you this brand new product. Nope, that's right. Gigaparts made the first video about this product, so I said, hey, Send it right now. I want to check this thing out. I want to take a look at this because this might replace my trusty so-called um, bulletproof analyzer from MFJ. Now, I've had this for a while. And in the past, uh, if you're a follower, I have had the uh, Rig Expert AA1000, which I had for a short while and really thought it was excess of my needs. So I, I got rid of it. And then I had the AA230 Zoom, which was a very unique piece. And I had that. Then at the same time, I had the MFJ269. I thought, well, I'll get the money back, sell the, the Rig Expert, even though it was a great device. And I just stuck with my MFJ. But there's a couple caveats to the MFJ, and this may solve that. I even showed you the AA. 30 zoom I think it was and that's the little Arduino board that they made to have a cheaper kit form of an SWR or antenna analyzer more than just SWR so introducing the brand new rig expert stick 230 now this is essentially like an AA 230 zoom you know that one that I showed you but a lot smaller and sleek and compact with a bunch of features to get your antenna tuned right because why because we don't need to use a tuner to mask an antenna that's not resonant anywhere close to the band you want. We want to use an antenna analyzer to see what's going on with your antenna, the impedance, the resonance point, and tune it for the lowest SWR to make it more efficient. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. About 118 contacts already in my Tar Heel on my mobile in the last week and a half because it's a resonant antenna. Anyways, so the Rig Expert. AA stick, as they call it, or the 230 stick, is something that looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing compared to my MFJ. Now, don't get me wrong, this MFJ is bulletproof, man, but here's one big problem with the MFJ. Ready? Yeah, that's right. It takes a lot of batteries, 10 of them. And if you're out in the field, that can get costly. This right here uses one, a, uh, one 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. 18650 is the same thing that's in my electronic cigarette and a lot of different devices. These are a dime a dozen. You can find these all day on eBay for five bucks. Do yourself a favor and get the name brand ones if you have to get one. It comes with the battery, okay? Rechargeable. Three hours of charge time and the thing's ready to go for days, okay? Now, um, not really an unboxing, but if you want to be out in the field with a lanyard for your neck because you're out there at field day doing a bunch of antennas, throw this around your neck. You know, you can not have it in your pocket, um, you know, and a USB with the manual in here. We're going to go over a couple of things. USB-C. Why a USB-C? Because I had to learn from my viewers that that is not some weird Chinese connector. That was a USB-C. And I remember saying in a video, yeah, I don't know what this is. And boy, did that come after me. I had about a 350 comments, people saying, guy, that's 2016 technology. And I just found out about it six months ago. Fast charging USB-C with the included cable here. You can connect this to the computer. If you connected it over USB, the computer USB port powers the device. Also, with the software online um, or downloadable on your computer, you can use this for Smith charts and, and different things, uh, wide sweep on a computer program. And, and check out that little symbol right there. It's got Bluetooth. So you can Bluetooth this to an Android app and have everything you need, you know, you could see what's going on with your antenna. And a lot easier out in the field, kind of something different, you know. Pop the cap off. There's your SO239. Throw an antenna on. I'm going to throw mine on just to give you an idea of what it does. When you're done, put the cap back on. Throw it around your neck. Away you go. People are going to ask, what is that? When you're at field day or you're at a buddy's house. And, you know, there's nothing, again, nothing wrong with something like this. But... Technology is increasing and things are getting smaller and things are more efficient right here the rig expert AA 230 stick So let me show you a couple things that it does. I want you to look at this screen right here Now this screen is called an e-paper display or e-paper screen Do you remember when they first came out with 
the uh, Kindle, the e-readers, you know, the, I think it was the Kindle. It was like a book, but it was a tablet, okay? And I, if you looked at it, you couldn't tell if it was on or off because there's that white, you know, very easy to read in no matter what lighting situation you have, you can read that screen. Daytime, full sun, nighttime, uh, in a subway when your antenna, uh, you're doing your antenna down in the subway in New York City or in a public restroom, wherever you need to use it, <laughs> you can read that screen. And check it out, when I turn it on, watch, this is not on right now, it's off, okay? Watch this, see, it turns on. It's called an e-paper display. Now that, again, I know it's not 2019 technology, but that's a great choice because it doesn't eat batteries when you use an efficient screen like that and easy to read in all different kinds of, of uh, light. What'll happen with an LCD is when the batteries start to fade, the, you know, the display gets crummy and, and you, you gotta hold it one way to see it. So a great choice for the screen with the e-paper display. Okay, so I'm playing antenna roulette tonight. I think I grabbed the cable for the high gain AV680. I think I might be hooked up to my 10 meter vertical uh, instead, I'm not sure. But we're gonna just show you a quick walkthrough here on what you would expect from this. So I have my antenna connected. Frequency up here, plus or minus, you could change the frequency, 29, uh, 28, 380, 370. I'm just at calling frequency on 10 meters, 28.4. Right there, I can see on page one of five, my SWR is 1.97 to one. My return loss is 9.74 dB. I think I had this antenna tuned a little bit closer to FM. Now, if we go to page two, now there's a couple different, uh, you know, algorithms or parameters in here that some, not everybody uses, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna take a stab at it, okay? Because some of these things, uh, you guys are experts and you know exactly what it is. Maybe some of this is uh, abbreviated to fit on the screen. But I think here on page two, we have your impedance, 57.6 ohms, and a series model and parallel model of your reactants. And um, also page three, you have, see again, series model of inductance and capacitance, okay? And then parallel model shows you that. So phase shows you phase as well. A lot of these parameters to know exactly what's happening with your antenna and your attached feed line as well. So we're gonna go, and then you can see here, this is continuous. Let's go back to page one here. This is continuous, it's running, okay? You see it blinking, it's running, and it's gonna give you a real time. So as the wind's blowing, as you're out there messing with it, don't touch the antenna and expect an accurate result, but you tweak something, you look at it, and you see the difference. You can stop that and keep it a snapshot like that. It's not gonna move. Or you can hit play, and it's gonna start running again. So that's pretty cool. Now if I go back to the main screen here, you also have uh, multi, ham, free. You can, you can go to the free mode here and basically, you know, see a graph here of wherever you want. I mean, do you want this thing to group it by the ham bands and go 20 meters, 40 meters, you know, 30, 17, 10 meters? Or do you want to set a frequency and just see what the, which would be good for me because I want to do 47 megahertz or 151 and that's not a ham band. So I can adjust my frequency up here and the width of the SWR chart, okay, or the plot as they call it. So at a five megahertz spread, I can see exactly, you know, my, where the, here, we'll go down because we don't need a five megahertz spread. One megahertz, okay? And it'll show you right there. My SWR is 2.1, uh, the, the, the best there, the lowest dip is 1.47. Here's a function I like when you're back at the main screen. See the multi, and that's not M-U-L-T-I, it's M-U-L-T, it's like multi. A multi band, right? Like Corbin Dallas multipass? No. <laughs> so we'll hit the plus here and go into multi, okay? Now it's scanning. Now check this out. This will just show me the band up top. Okay, there it is, it's scanned. Now it'll show me my SWR at the frequency of that band, okay? Now watch this. We'll start on one of one. So I am 2.76 at 160 meters. 2.37 at 30 meters. 1.93 at 20, the top end of 20 meters. It shows you the best that it can get on that band. So it's gonna sweep each band and tell you, okay, in 20, I'm a little bit high there. I need to bring the antenna a little bit longer um, to get it in the center of the band. 2.46 on 17 meters at the top. 2.34 to one at the very bottom of 15 meters. Uh, 2.32 at 12 meters. 11 meters. That's right, guys. CB radio. Check your antennas. So I'm, 
I'm doing pretty good right around channel, what is that, 10, 12, 11, somewhere in there. 1.6 on 10 meters, I'm right. This is the uh, high gain because I know for a fact I have my high gain tuned for the FM portion uh, higher up. So I think that's pretty cool. Now watch, see? Turn it off, one, two, three. It goes off, ready? Got to hold the button, turn it off. See? It's off. It doesn't say it's off, but it's off. So uh, maybe I'll do part two and we'll check out. If you're interested, leave a comment. Are you interested in the PC side of it or the Android side? I'd like to know if I utilize the time for that. Uh, I could have included it in this video, but I kind of wanted to get it wrapped up and keep it short enough to where you get the idea about the Rig Expert AA230 stick. And um, I wanted to get it in my hands and get it out to video as fast as I could. So let Gigaparts know, again, thanks for letting Eric borrow this stuff because this, this may end up in my shack. And then guess what? You guys will be the ones who will tell me, I want your MFJ and I'll sell it. I, I really hate to, this thing's just, treated me well, but I, I kind of want this. I think it's time for this, you know, swing around and have this thing around my neck and just one, two, three, analyze an antenna out in the vehicle. No batteries like that required. I think it's a good thing, man. Seven, three. Thanks for watching. Leave me in the comments if you want to see if I get enough response to make a video on the Android side of it with Bluetooth and what other things you could do like Smith chart and stuff. KJ4, YZI.